Good evening everybody in Iowa time and uh, it looks like we've got a, a snowstorm headed our way and it's that time of year not happy about it but <laughs> when you live up north sorta you know Minnesota's ahead of Iowa up there and surrounding and then up into Canada we're bound to get something no matter when I was hoping this wouldn't start until January because January is usually our worst month but uh, whatever let me straighten up my camera a little bit here okay James representative James Coomer C-O-M-E-R Comer Republican from Kentucky has alleged that his team has found evidence that federal health officials used grant dollars to ensure private scientists deny that COVID-19 may have originated out of a lab despite scientific evidence suggesting otherwise. The Republican representative who is reportedly the likely chairman of the House of Oversight Committee should the GOP wins control of the House told just the news on Monday that there is evidence showing that Dr. Anthony Fucci constructed an idea that COVID-19 evolved naturally from animals despite previous warnings he had received that the virus likely originated from a lab leak in Wuhan, China. This was apparently done with the aid of numerous federally funded private scientists. Everyone in the medical community backed up Dr. Fucci and what we know, what we now know, is that they were receiving a lot of grant dollars. Comer said Monday during an interview on Just the News. No noise. According to uh, Comer, 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 C-O-M-E-R, his investigators obtained documents showing that on February 1st of 2020, Fauci, Fucci and his boss, NIH director, Dr. Francis Collins, and at least 11 other scientists held a conference called to discuss the Chinese coronavirus. It was during the call when Fucci and Collins were warned that the virus may have escaped out of the Wuhan Institute of Virology after it was pro proposedly modified genetically. Fucci has admitted to this happening in the call since. Senator Rand Paul, Republican of Kentucky, is another Republican representative who has gone after Fucci for alleged dishonesty. The Kentucky senator accused Fucci of not caring to stop potential future pandemics and changing definitions of scientific terms such as the infamous gain-of-function research to cover his ASS. He additionally has accused Fuji of lying both on social media and in public. We uncovered the emails that showed Dr. Fuji's earliest advisors said that this is obviously a lab link leak and this has to be man-made added representative Comer 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 I don't know forgive me if anybody knows this representative I'm sorry for mispronouncing his name we also showed where Dr. Fucci and Dr. Collins at the NIH were talking about trying to spin the lab leak theory that they were really concerned about the optics of that. What we learned is how much slush money the NIH had to award in the form of grants to these advisors. The Kentucky representative explained his view that the complicity of private scientists helped Fucci establish a narrative to justify the massive lockdowns seen in 2020, all while 
a potential financial incentive was in play. They, him and his wife, they, they came out smelling pretty good money-wise. Oh, yes, they did. I did an article on that in another uh, video. So you have someone like Dr. Fucci that had complete control over the entire pandemic, he said. And his advisors and all these medical experts were signing on to everything, essentially giving him a blank check to say whatever he wanted to say, to shut down whatever industry he wanted to shut down, to make our kids have to go through virtual instead of in person. And the whole time they were receiving grants from Dr. Collins and Dr. Fucci. I did an article on that, but um, I have no words. Uh, now this one here is kind of sad. Um, but um, I just don't understand why it happened, you know, but he just went right over it. <laughs> During a visit to York, an extinction rebellion activist threw eggs at King Charles as he walked with Queen Consort Camilla Parker Bowles. But Charles refused to give the activist the satisfaction of reacting to his antics, completely ignoring the eggs sailing past him. Now isn't that crazy? Throwing eggs at people? <laughs> <laughs> the activist, who was later identified as Patrick Farewell, T-H-E-L-W-E-L-L, -E -L -L, Farewell, a former Green Party candidate, threw several eggs at the Royals near Micklegate Bar, the traditional royal entrance to the city, shouting, This country was built on the blood of slaves. Charles appeared not to even acknowledge the commotion as the events were happening. Instead, he briefly looked down to see what had happened, then stepped over the cracked eggs that had landed on the pavement near his feet. The king then continued to greet onlookers. Good for him. My goodness. Farewell was immediately detained by police, police officers who tackled him to the ground and arrested him behind the temporary fencing that had been set up to line the street ahead of the royal's visit. The people gathered in the area appeared to side with Charles over the activist, breaking out into a chant of God save the king, as he continued to engage with the crowd. King Charles and his queen consort were visiting York as part of a celebration for the unveiling of a statue of Charles' late mother, Queen Elizabeth II who passed away on September 8th at the age of 96. The statue of Elizabeth was actually completed roughly one month before her death. The late queen was always vigilant for the welfare of her people during her life. Now her image will watch over what will become Queen Elizabeth Square for centuries to come, the king said of the statue. This was not the first time Charles was calm in the face of an attack. In 1994, during an Australia Day celebration in Sydney, a young man fired two blank shots, then charged at then President Charles, while Prince Charles, while he was walking toward the center of the stage to give a speech. While nearly a dozen men, including the Premier of the New South Wales, rushed to tackle the shooter, taking him to the ground and detaining him, Charles simply watched the situation from just a few feet away while calmly adjusting his cufflinks. For heaven's sakes, you just don't know. You know, when you're in the public eye like that and, and you're high up of statue, uh, stature, or whatever, stature, you know, you don't know. Your life is always in danger always in danger. Well, that's all for now. I'll be back.